Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing another one of my Volts tutorials with the Particle Accelerator. Now a lot of you don't understand how to build this and I've tried building it manually with electromagnets and electromagnetic glass. Well, there's a much, much, much easier way. Now all you need to do is build a insulated LHC builder. So to do this, you need a lot of electromagnetic glass and lots of different materials for it. You can have a look at it by pressing R to see how to build it. Okay, so now what I do is probably go up a couple of blocks and now just place your instant LHC builder. Okay. Now what you should get if you right click it there we go, you've got your particle accelerator built up. Now, this isn't like a one in real life, it's just a square, not an oval. And in your hand, you should automatically get, well, you shouldn't automatically get, but you have to actually make what's called a particle accelerator. And it's made like this. You need lots of elite circuits, steel plates, and a motor. Make a particle accelerator. Now the particle accelerator has to be placed at one of the four ends. So for this example, we'll place it in this edge, like this. Okay, now you've got your particle accelerator in and ready. You need a power source. So you can have your own power source. I'm going to cheat using an infinite battery. So I've got my advanced battery box there. And I'll just insert my infinite battery. There we go, I've got infinite power. Now, you'll need lots and lots of power. I recommend using two or more fusion reactors to power this. Okay. So, now, all you need to do is put a material which it will smash together to create antimatter. Now, this can be any material. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't affect how much antimatter you get. So, you can even use stone or dirt. Okay. Now you need something to trigger it, and we're going to use a lever, like this. Okay, so attach it to the side, and flick it on, and you should hear that really low sound. Now, the velocity is how fast it's accelerating, that shows how much energy you've been using, even one battery box finds it quite hard to cope with that much power. So it, here you'll find how much antimatter you've got. So before it fully fills, you'll need an empty. Yeah, you'll need an empty cell. Oh, I'm gonna grab 64 of them. Place them in this box, and once it's done, you should get antimatter here. So I'm gonna end this now and come back once we've got one antimatter. Okay, hello. Now. We've almost got full velocity, and you should see it fluctuating a bit. It's almost there, and you should hear a loud bang once it's done. Almost there, and there we go. That loud bang signals that we've got 200 milligrams of antimatter. Now, be careful with antimatter, because you don't want to see what happens if you drop it. If I drop it like this, if you wait a while, it will actually explode. That's why you have to be really careful with antimatter. And there we go, it exploded. Like I said, never drop it unless you're using it at an enemy's base or something. Because then it's pretty useful as a grenade that takes a bit of time to explode. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. Um, look out for more Volts tutorials from the extraterrestrial games. Goodbye.